A battle border tonight and caught in the middle of it all, children, parents captured for illegally entering the United States, their sons and daughters taken away because of a zero tolerance policy. And tonight we're seeing and hearing what's happening inside the shelters now housing those children. We've got three in Texas, but there could be more coming. Our Rebecca Lopez is in Brownsville, but first let's get started with Jason Whiteley. He's in Tornillo. Jason. Well, John, right now, President Trump is standing firm on his plan to keep separating parents from children out here in uh, who cross the border anywhere in Texas crossing illegally, despite growing outrage from Republicans and Democrats. In fact, tomorrow in El Paso, a large protest march with nurses is planned in the morning. Tonight, though, 98 children behind this uh, limestone wall here behind us. This is a uh, border Patrol compound. The children are staying in tents tonight. 98 here right now. It could house up to 4,000 children separated from their parents because mom or dad entered the U.S. illegally. From this vantage point, you might miss the struggle unfolding below. We need, we need to have a supervisor. At the International Bridge in El Paso is where rhetoric meets reality. We're not discouraging anyone from entering. We just cannot at this time. U.S. Customs and Border Patrol turning away asylum seekers, including this family of eight from Michoacan, Mexico. There's just nowhere to temporarily detain them. 40 miles east of El Paso, 98 children already staying at this tent camp here in Tornillo. It can house three times as many. There are children separated from their parents who entered the U.S. illegally. President Trump now enforcing zero tolerance, charging adults with crimes, their children, taken away while they go to jail. Parents who entered illegally are, by definition, criminals. Illegal entry is a crime as determined by Congress. By entering our country illegally, often in dangerous circumstances, illegal immigrants have put their children at risk. Opposition continues to grow against the president's policy, even as his spokeswoman defends it. The president himself said uh, that he doesn't like this process, but once again, it's Congress's job to change the law. Senator Ted Cruz defended Trump last week as well, but now says he'll introduce emergency legislation to keep migrant families together. He'll double the number of federal immigration judges and create new temporary shelters to keep parents with children. Luis Melendez is that saxophone player we saw serenading his city. One defined by the border, experiencing another struggle this country has yet to solve. Senator John Cornyn is also proposing a law to keep parents and children together as they await court dates. But as you know, everything in Congress does take time until something happens in Washington, D.C. President Trump evidently going to keep charging parents who came here illegally with crimes which will result in their children being taken away. Reporting live in Tornillo, Texas, Jason Whiteley, Channel 8 News. Thank you, Jason. And